Ira, hey, how you doing? I'm great. How are you, Parker? I'm doing great. I hear you on vacation last week. How was it? Uh, it was fantastic. It was a great chance to recharge the batteries and spend time with family and, and kind of get away from the hustle and bustle. So uh, and, until you do it, you, you sometimes forget how important it is. So especially in the, the times we're in, I uh, highly recommend uh, that, that uh, everybody gets out and gets away wh where they can right now. Oh, here, here. Well, I hope that your re-entry wasn't uh, it hasn't been too difficult. I know first day back can always be a challenge, but uh, here we are right in the middle of Women's History Month. And I was looking around and I noticed that your organization in particular has a particularly high representation of women in some leadership roles. And I wondered if you learned anything from that experience and from their leadership styles. I, most definitely. Um, you know, we, we have a, a, I think I have a fantastic team and I learn from them every single day. And uh, I, I'm fortunate. I think we've, we've built that team very intentionally trying to make sure that we have a, a diversity of, of viewpoints and perspectives and experiences. Um, because I, I've been on the other side where sometimes you don't have that representation. Uh, you know, whether it's uh, my time at, at school at the Merchant Marine Academy, sailing on a ship, or, or even in, in organizations I've been in, uh, you know, it's, it's been times where we have definitely lacked viewpoints. And uh, the decision making sometimes lacks uh, because you don't always see things, uh, the, you know, through the wisdom of having those unshared experiences. Um, so when you can, you know, when, when you're missing something that, that you've never experienced before, uh, you, you lose sight of that and you don't know, you, you definitely don't get to take advantage of uh, how is it going to be received and, and how, uh, what are the things that, that we're not accounting for. Um, so when you have those, those viewpoints and when you have an environment where people feel open to challenge things, uh, you, you get better outcomes and better results. There's no question about it. And the team that I have now, I learn from them every single day. Um, you know, it's fantastic to have a team that's willing to tell me, you know, where, you know, I may be missing something because it's not something I would have thought of. Uh, and that's super, it's been super important to me and I really value the, the team that we've developed. Um, but I'm just curious, you know, I, I talk a little bit about my experiences in, in really what is a male dominated maritime industry. Uh, and I'm curious, what, uh, what are some challenges and obstacles you've had to overcome, uh, you know, prejudice or otherwise that uh, have led you to the successful role you're in today? Oh, that's a great question. You know, um, to be sure, I've been very fortunate in my career, but I think early on was when I really had the, the biggest uh, obstacles to overcome when I was a baby lawyer working in the law firm. I think um, the, the, the attitudes that, oh, uh, the somewhat condescending pat on the head, oh, look how cute a, a, a lady lawyer uh, in, this, in the maritime field in particular. And it wasn't from my own colleagues. It was actually from opposing counsel who, who seemed, at least in, from my perspective, they seemed to use it as a tactic to try to disarm me and, and throw me off my game. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it, it was a good lesson to learn um, to, to not be thrown off by that sort of attitude. It's also, I realize in retrospect, really a, a bit of a gift to be to be underestimated. Um, it usually only happens once, uh, and and to be sure, you want to do your best to take advantage or capitalize on those opportunities. Um, so, you know, and then I, I had I had very good, uh, very strong, very supportive male colleagues for whom I did really, you know, they, I did good work. And so they knew they had the confidence to put me in situations to learn and to grow, um, which really helped me all the way along. I've been I've been really fortunate to have great sponsors uh, throughout my career. What are some of the things that uh, those sponsors were able to do to, to, to help uh, if, if there were challenges put in your way? Really, uh, the, I think the role of a, of a sponsor and the best thing that could ever happen is they put you in the room. They, they invite you to the party. You know, you, they, they, they give you access to conversations or to opportunities that you yourself wouldn't be able to, you may not even know about them. You, you wouldn't be able to, to get in the room. And whether it's a, a, you know, a, a challenging new case that you're taking on sort of you know, on your own as a, as a practitioner or just a job opportunity um, that you wouldn't have necessarily thought was gonna be in your wheelhouse. Um, opportunities to learn and to grow and to know that you may not be an ace right out of the gate, but that you have it within you to, 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 um, to succeed in that, in that role. Well, that's really good advice. I hope, uh, hope hopefully I can take that to, to heart and, and throw that as an ally. Um, it's, I, look, thank you for, for taking the time. This is a really good conversation. Uh, hopefully we can, can continue it uh, beyond and outside of Women's History Month. I look forward to it. You bet, Ira.
Right. Thanks, Parker. Mm -hmm. Take care.